today is a big day guys beach both outdoors making making moves today uh and i'm gonna take y'all with me we're on the way to the hardware store to pick up stove pipe and some concrete blocks stick around at 80 degrees it's gonna be hot today that's all right we're gonna get some work done i got some really cool stuff to show off but first we got to buy parts so welcome to the 24 25 beach bluff outdoors season so, like I told y'all, why do I keep saying so? Like I told y'all, let's get where the camera can do something here. Uh, we try to actually do some trapping on film this year and get, you know, a little less of just hanging out at the cabin. And uh, I started this episode, told y'all we had some business happening. I'm going to show you here in just a minute. Uh, but I hit the ground running and I had to meet some people out here. And, um, so we were wide open. I really didn't get any footage, which kind of sucks, but mm, I'm soaked. I had to do a lot of weed eating, man. It was growed up. Uh, it was supposed to have been mowed, but it didn't get mowed, so I might have to come over and mow it. No big deal. But uh, I had to weed eat around and cut me out of spot. So one thing, we got the pipe kit. The chimney kit going right there it's going up I'm probably going to go through about the center of those trap chains i guess and then uh y'all i am burning up man it's uh 10 o'clock it's already like 90 degrees it's nice and cool in here though That was pretty nice. But, I gotta sweep off my porch. That stuff growing up through the porch I had to weed eat. But, anyway. Ah. So, y'all ready for this? The porch edition? Look what we did. So, I'm going to make me a first shed. Still got to screw my deck boards down. Never did do that last year. See, it's growed up. Yeah. Make me a first shed. I can hang my furs. Hang all my traps. I think I'm gonna put me a camp toilet in this corner. Oh, really need a toilet. But, well, let me get back here where we can see. Dang. Yeah, kind of matches my little building I already got.
But, uh, that ain't the only thing. We got something else going on, too. Oh, man, it's dark in here. But, uh, before we can get to that, we're gonna take a little breaky break. I am hot, y'all. Lord, it's hot. Anyway, we're gonna take a little break and then, uh, I'll show you what we got going on. We ain't gonna stay here much longer. It done got that gum hot, y'all. But, uh, started getting the stove mocked up. Getting the pipe on. There's the rest of the pipe. Yeah, I got it up. Going towards the wall. I'm gonna cut that rack probably right there. Put metal over that and metal over that. Take this rack down. Move it all over there to the fur shed. And move, you know, my saw horses. Probably put my extra heater in there because I'll have that now. And that'll give me counter space to get to my sink. But, uh, I got something else too. That box. We're gonna open it in a minute. I didn't bring my tripod, so I'm just having to kind of wing this. With that board laying on top that you can probably barely see right there is uh, my old flesh and bean. I brought it. I ain't gonna need it at home. But we're gonna open this box and uh, show you what's in it. I don't think I'm gonna move none of this stuff today. I think I'm just gonna leave it just like it is. Deal with it when I come back because it is hot. I mean, I started at like 85 degrees and now. I'm bring my mower back over here and mow. And I gotta go find me a tree to cut down. I need some firewood. I'm about out of firewood. But the other thing, I'm going to put a railing across that end, probably a railing right here, and then probably right there at that joint about where the sunlight is, about right here, put another 8 foot 4 by put the railing right here leave that last section open build me some steps or something <coughs> and give me two points thought about extending this down at least to the end of the roof here so I have two canopies but uh, I'm gonna put my flesh and beam up and then I'm gonna cut this box open and I'll show you what's in it, and then I'm gonna put it up. And I'm gonna roll out. I'm hot. Alright, so made a pretty big order from F and T. Fur Harvester's Trading Post. I don't know if uh, y'all have ever done business with them. I like them. Haven't done a ton of business with them, but they got a little point system. He get points, you know, for like every dollar you spend. And uh, they're good people. Uh, I really like dealing with them. And them and Hoosier Trapper is my, my favorite. Which, you know, I run Duke and Bridger Traps. I don't run like Minnesota or some of the, you know, there, there's some big names out there. Uh, I've got a few Sleepy Creek. I think my Connor Bears are Sleepy Creek. Don't hold me to that. But, uh, so, I don't know if y'all if y'all saw the lives that I did. I tried to update everybody. So, 23 into 24 was not good to me. Uh, you know, we had the house fire. We didn't get going until around Christmas. Uh, we finished up around March. And then we went to Disney on vacation. Uh, came back, got back to work. You know, finished. I was done with school. And everything was starting to... Uh, get back to normal and I had a, a pretty bad heart attack um, 
knocked me down for a while. Um, uh, you know, it hurt financially. And then uh, we bred Sadie with Grizzly. And then we ultimately had to get rid of Grizzly. He was just not thriving with us. And uh, he wasn't going to hunt. So we got rid of him. Uh, he went to just be a pet. And we sold a lot of the puppies. We, we've got two left, I believe, that we still need. You know, if anybody's interested, give us a shout. Uh, full-blooded UKC blue ticks. And then I've uh, been working a lot with the Crockett County Pound. And uh, we've been doing rescue work as well. And I currently have a about a seven or eight month old female walker. She appears to be full blooded, but she was rescued on her papers. Uh, but I've been working with her, getting her to hunt, and I'm gonna try to place her in a in a hunting home. Uh, but I work 24 hours on, 48 hours off. So I mean, it, it's just really, really hard, you know, on the schedule. Uh, I got a hair in my mouth, but. Anyway, F and T, they they good people, like Hoosier, Hoosier Trapper F and T, uh, both of them good companies. But we got a, uh, we're gonna finish getting the stove installed. Maybe when it cools off a little bit, we're gonna move the traps over to the first shed. Uh, that's just gonna officially be my first shed. Uh, may put a little like a RV toilet in there. I don't know yet. Uh, I'm moving my little kerosene heater over there, so I have my wood stove in here. And I said I got to cut some firewood. I got to build my railings uh, around the porch. This place is really coming along. But uh, so F and T ordered that right there. That is a thing to hang fur stretchers. Which there's a raccoon. There's the coyotes, and I got my hardwood fleshing beam. Uh, I believe these are Sleepy Creek, I think. But anyway, they make fur harvester specs. So, I'm going to put them down here in the first shed. We'll, we'll go down here. I think I took them down there in the beginning of the video. I don't know. I had a board break under my porch. But I never finished nailing the boards down anyway. So <laughs> yeah, it's just plain. But uh, had an extra window put in. See, I'm looking back towards the house part and looking out at the road, which I wish I'd have had one put in the back. But I didn't want to give up wall space because I want to make trap racks. And then if I do decide I want to put a toilet in here. I actually thought about putting a solar shower right here in this in this corner. Oh may do that. Because I can bring my, my you know have my kerosene heater. Get it good and warm. I got this big water tank I can put up on a stand. Just make a solar heated shower. But I'm going to put these uh, first stretchers up. I'm going to throw everything back in the truck. And I think we're going to head on back to the other 37 projects we, should, we still got to do around the house. All right, I'm gonna, let me get this done. <clears throat> so I guess I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up uh, before I get back out to the main road. Uh, I just wanted to update you, man. I've still got like two more packages, uh, one from Hoosier, and I think I got another one from F and T that we got to go through. But it's just too hot to be out here. I'm I'm dying, man. Uh, so I'm gonna ease on back. Uh, maybe mow my grass or something today. I'm not sure, but uh, y'all see, you know, kind of see what we got going on. We got we got a big winter plan, and uh, hopefully we can do some trapping this year. I've got some other properties I have permission on, and uh, matter of fact, all that property. Uh, so, we'll uh, 
we'll see and if you got any questions as always shoot me a message and donations are always welcome because it's expensive to keep this going and I'm not monetized I don't do this for money uh, I mean, I'm not sponsored rather so uh, anyway y'all uh, shoot me a message anything you want to talk about we'll talk about it we'll see y'all in the next one